well, a different type of ghost story. I'm back at one of my favorite cooking classes in Tuscany with two of my favorite Italian men, Luca and Lorenzo, who have the best pasta making class that they run out of their home just outside of Florence. This time I'm staying at their rental property, The Nest, so my friend Jessica and I were able to walk right over to class. First up, we're making tiramisu, but they do it a little differently by dipping biscotti into a liqueur instead of ladyfingers in the coffee. Can you tell it was strong? I have to say that I love their spin on tiramisu, which you'll see at the end when we devour all the food we're about to eat today. Not only is this class hands-on, but it's also incredibly personal because you get to know Luca and Lorenzo and feel so welcome in their quintessential Tuscan home, complete with all their adorable animals. I feel like no trip to Italy is complete without learning to make pasta, even if we've already done it before, so we're starting with the dough, which we'll need some time to sit after. And that's the perfect excuse to take a break for snacks and wine while learning about some Italian traditions like their obsession with eye contact during toasts. And if you've ever heard that superstition, you do not want to take your chances. So pop that glass, eye contact, whatever you gotta do. Next up, Lorenzo's showing us how they're gonna make the sauce for the pasta, and we're getting to buttering sage and amatriciana, which is a spicy red sauce with pancetta, two of my favorites. Now that the pasta dough is ready, Luca is showing us how to make tortelloni, which is a fun challenge because you really have to be a bit delicate as you're folding the pasta over the stuffing and making sure not to completely ruin it. But how do you think I did? I think you can tell I'm 44% Italian. The tortelloni came out beautifully, so we moved on to making fettuccine. And this one's a lot of fun, especially if Luca comes and ghosts you from behind. Can you tell that I love it here? I just want to move in with them. The nests are ready, and while Luca prepares everything, Lorenzo is giving us a master class in how to make all different types of pasta shapes. This isn't even close to all of the shapes that exist. And now, the sauce pan. The tortelloni is getting bathed in a sweet buttery sage, while the fettuccine will be covered in mouth-watering amatriciana. We get to enjoy all of the fruits of our labor outside with a glass of wine and perfectly plated masterpieces, and everything tastes even better than it looked. This is my second time coming here, and I have a feeling it won't be my last. Luca and Lorenzo's cooking class should be on everybody's must-do list when visiting Florence. Now head to the captain to get all the details so you too can spend an afternoon cooking in the Tuscan hills.